things. So you're the new Mecha Godzilla. Pretty slick looking if I do say so myself. You also got quite a few appendages. Well, I gotta say, this is gonna be one big fat nope. I think I'd rather be a part of an Emmerich movie than be a part of this. I guess that answers that age-old question, though. Huh. So, uh, how you doing? Hey, I just want to Super Important Reviews. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today I'll be going over the... What is this? <laughs> uh, Transformers meets Godzilla? Yeah, it's the uh, Tamashi mix, which is like a mix between a Monster Arts and Solo Shigokin. Wait, wait uh, so this should be like the greatest thing for you, Steve. Oh uh, yeah, it's like two of my, well, Shigoku's like hit mystery, but I love me with some monster arts. And this is the Mechagodzilla poster version. So this is technically like what the Heisei Godzilla was supposed to be like. He has multiple forms. He's pretty much a Megazord if it was brought into the Godzilla realm. Uh, there is also a Godzilla that came out that coincided with this figure. I, I'm not getting it. Why not? Uh, it's like the umpteenth Godzilla of the one I already have. But it's not this version, Steve. Touche, but I don't want to spend any more money. <laughs> Especially until the, like, the end of the year. I'm pretty much broke. I know. Until like some stuff starts selling on eBay. So I got to wait for that to happen. I shouldn't have spent that money at Yomacon. Neither should have I. But we're here now. So, yeah, uh, the main reason I picked this up is just because it's a very unique looking Godzilla figure. That reminds me a lot of the old, um, the Treadmasters Power Armor Mega Godzilla. The what? Uh, I think that was, I think that's what they're called. They're like power armors. Where you had this Mega Godzilla and you could strap on these like armored accessories onto him. And it literally made him look like this dude. With the squared off snout, the gun fingers, jetpack, like you name it, it had it. And that was like one of my favorite Mechagodzilla toys. So it's really cool to see it sort of replicated with this figure here. Uh, but I've also heard that this figure is super terrifying and very fragile. So uh, let's just oh get boy. into it. Uh, without further ado, for his packaging, you get a nice image of the figure on the front with some Godzilla dorsal spines in the back and a little bit of a head right there. Mechagodzilla Bandai Collector Shop Tamashi Nation Bandai. On top of the packaging, just more Mechagodzilla side. More of the same, but you get a little bit of wing over on that side. On this side, a little bit more gun action. Back of the packaging, just get him in some dynamic poses. Shows you the vehicle forms. The sweet poster that I still have to try to acquire. That's so weird, those poses. I mean, the things he can turn into. God. Well, it's nice, too, that they have the poster on the back, so you kind of get like an understanding on like where all these vehicles came from. Because you see them in the picture. But yeah, but Mecha Godzilla doesn't turn into him. I'm so confused. Oh, uh, yeah, he does. Well, this version. Like, this is like technically like a prototype. And some stuff I can't understand. Some legal mumbo jumbo in the bottom. So let's get him open up out of his cardboard prison. All right, so just as a heads up, if you hear snoring, it's my pogo. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do for this review is I'm not going to show you guys any of the transformation. Uh, we're going to treat this more or less how I generally review Transformer figures. In that... Uh, yeah, I just don't go over the transformations for stuff. They just take a long time. This it, video will be hours. Yeah, this video is already going to probably be a decent amount of time, let alone me sitting here going through. But on the Geek Chess, we did an unboxing, and usually we kind of go over the figures over there a little bit. And uh, we'll definitely transform it on there. So if you guys are curious about the transformation, go check out our other channel for the unboxing. Uh, but uh, what you get with this figure is you get this really nice flight stand for the jet form which is really cool because it's actually very sturdy and it sits on there pretty nicely which is really good to see but for the most part it's just this little black stand matte black you got a little bit of an incline going up into the cradle on the top here nothing too complicated but it does the job very well and then moving on to the mecha g jet i'm not sure actually what any of these are officially named it didn't say on a box or... Because I can read it. Okay, touche. You got and I ain't looking this up, darn it. <laughs> I'm too stingy. You guys can let me know in the comments section below. But uh, for what I'm just going to call the Mecha G-Jet. Sure. G-Jet. G-Jet. You got a very nice metallic finish with a little bit of black here for some of the pinstripings on the wing. A little bit of red here for the tip of the nose. And the under section here where you have what appears to be like a little gun. 
Looks like a mouth. Like yeah, it kind of it? appears to be a mouth. No, that does not move. Okay. Uh, but you do get to see where the Mechagodzilla's head just kind of sitting on the undersection, and you have these little fan details. Like you said, that looks like from Marvel right there. Kind of like it reminds me of a helicarrier. Like this can mainly help with the hover, with the propeller fans right there. You also can see Mechagodzilla's dorsal spines going across the ship, and where the tail is kind of tucked in. And this is the part where I would be super concerned with dropping this or accidentally tipping it over because these seem very thin. So just be very careful when messing around with the jets, especially here for the helm of the ship where you have the cockpit resting right there. Which, how the heck do you see anything? I don't know. Everything seems like it'll be in your way, right? Kind of. Like, I kind of thought it'd be up here towards, like, the top where, like, I would imagine the bridge would be. But nope. Definitely right there where an incline is, so that, that seems slightly problematic. But then again, I guess you a lot of this would be, like, computerized anyways. Yeah. It's still weird. Yeah. And then you got some little, what appears to be portholes on the side here towards the base of the bridge. Uh, some thrusters here towards the back, but I kind of wish they maybe would have colored in the vents a little bit more. A little bit more color variety, especially like here on the propellers as well. Yeah, at least like black or something, you know. Yeah, which kind of feels like these can shift, but I'm not going to mess with that too much right now. Uh, but for the tail, looks really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like you can see where like Mechagodzilla's head is and part of the neck joint, but we'll go over more... And that once we get to actual Mechagodzilla. And you can also articulate the wings a little bit. Because they can fold to the back. But just be a little bit careful with rubbing paints. But outside of that, same with the tail. You can shift it a little bit too back here if you want to kind of make it look like it's curving. And then these feel like they can fold downwards and up. Next we'll go over the my arm. My favorite. <clears throat> I think we already went over my favorite. <laughs> uh, actually, I feel like this is the goofiest looking one because it kind of looks like like there's a tiny little head, giant arms, <laughs> and his little legs here. Shut up, Steve. He looks amazing. He I looks like he could mess up somebody's day. Well, this one kind of reminds me a lot of the original Dino Megazord, like when they're in the tank form, where you have like the T-Rex head and the giant arms on the side for the guns. This is what that reminds me of. And my dog is super loud snoring. Hey, as long as he's not chewing our toes, jumping, and... Yeah, we're good to go. But, yeah, it's just like there's a lot of empty space right here. Which is really my only really complaint, because it kind of looks like this would be like a little landing pad or something. Or something should like rest inside of here. But, yeah, outside of that, the cannons look cool. Got Mickey Godzilla's arms right there. The four barrels for the front of the gun. Coming along to the back, you can see some of the tubes... On the tops and bottoms. At least they color the tubes, unlike the uh, ship. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit more colorful looking. Like, especially with, uh, like, I'm going to consider this, like, the computer head. Because I, I don't see a spot where, like, somebody could really pilot this thing. So I imagine a lot of this is, like, automated. But it looks really good. Got a little bit more detailing on the under section of where the tiny little head cockpit area is. Same with on the top of the treads here as well and on the bottom here you can see the tank treads which they don't move boo yeah boo but anyway oh, wait a minute no yay <laughs> <laughs> just like i'm sitting on the shelf then again you don't have to worry about an incline and it just starts to <laughs> going to nose dive off your shelf but there's some detailing on the bottom section here for the treads and where the connecting joint is uh moving towards the back you got where? whatever these plates go to i imagine it's something having to do with mechagodzilla but you got these little guys here that just kind of hang off to the side. Like for me, uh, this kind of looks like something like when you're, especially like Transformer related. Like this is here just to kind of be like, hey, we needed extra things. Here you go. Look what his arms can do. Yay. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> this guy looks Even though some of this stuff doesn't work properly. It's like this one Transformer I have where he has like seven transformations. Only two of them I would consider actual transformations. The other ones are just like hodgepodge mess. That's not a mess. It's this like, is what this is. He's an anti-aircraft monster. Uh, well, he's like, got to shoot down flying Godzilla. <clears throat> Shin? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Rodan flies in that movie. He can shoot down Rodan. 
But that you have the Rodan. jet for that. Shh. Jet sucks. You'll get destroyed. You suck. Give me a hammer. I'll solve this right now. Please no. I spent a lot of money on this. <laughs> and just like on the normal figure, the arms can move up and down. You got a bend here, so you can't have it arcing upward if you want. You do shoot down your uh, flying kaiju's. Rodan. Yeah, primarily Rodan's, I guess. Hey, don't forget his leg shift too. You, you don't want him to shoot now. Mothra? No. Mothra does not deserve that much attention. Also, uh, before we move on to this, there is die cast on these figures too. I failed to mention that. Because uh, there is a decent amount of weight to each of these, especially this thing. Like, holy crap. But uh, there is a little bit here. Uh, right here is where the die cast is on this one primarily. Now, this guy, it's primarily right here is the die cast. Uh, right up here too. Definitely feels a little bit on the colder side. Well, the jet, it was the neck, like the connecting joint by the neck. Now for this, I actually really like the look of this vehicle where you can kind of see it's just Mechagodzilla's legs. I assume this is the waist section and then you have like this Mazer cannon up here that can articulate. With some strobe lights. With some strobe lights that can also articulate. This can shimmy side to side. Cause again, I'm assuming that's the waist. You have a cockpit in between the... <laughs> yeah, his legs. <laughs> I, I, like hopefully that bends down yeah okay maybe i'll just keep it up right for the remainder of the review <laughs> uh you also have what appears to be some more guns here that can kind of articulate on the top of like the knee pads which is really cool also those little toes kind of look like missiles kind of hope they're probably considered missiles that'll be cool that would be neat or you could just like just crash into other kaiju's legs like just take them out of the shins these don't take down barriers Something like that. Well, it's like, look at the wheels, which are all are actually wheels, which is cool. So you can actually play around with this one a little bit, which so is really nice to see. they took the wheels off the last transformation put on this one, huh? I feel like, like I said, this guy just, to me, seems like a hodgepodge of stuff. And then, like, this one they actually, like, took some consideration into. <laughs> uh, we got some more detailing on the side here with some more of the panel lining. And then a little bit of gum metal for the under section here. Now on the back, got some thrusters. Not sure what you really need thrusters for since it's a tank, but... Super speed? I guess so. Like, is, is this like the nitrous where it's like... <laughs> ready to... Uh, hey, ugh. from 20 to 60 in one minute. What, is Vin Diesel driving this guy? Yeah. Gonna go rescue our families? God, I still haven't seen like any of the newer ones. Oh, God, I knocked the tires in. But yeah, uh, pretty cool. Like, these can articulate a little bit, so that's... Is that a ratchet joint? That is a ratchet joint. Oh, I hate those. I don't mind them on heavy figures. But yeah, uh, overall, really, really digging the tank. Also got some black pinstriping on the top section there as well. But again, I'm kind of, if you think I'm kind of rushing over the details, we're going to mainly go over the, like, the big stuff with uh, Mechagodzilla. Now that you mentioned that, Steve, it looks like the center form or the middle one that we did has the most color in it. You mean that guy? Yeah, the one you don't like. Yeah, kind of, because you get, a, it's mainly the guns, because you got like a little bit of yellow and red here at the top of where the shoulders are, but you get some blue with the guns here, while these ones, you get, it's mainly a lot of yellow, silvers, and blacks. Yeah, my wins. No. All right, real quick, uh, you can combine them to make this thing, which really, really, really looks like the Dino Megazord. Yeah, yeah, it looks weird, for sure. Uh, I don't know why you would. <laughs> For the most part, I'm going to be having this guy pose as Mechagodzilla. Like, this is kind of neat, I guess, in a way, but eh. <laughs> it's very clunky looking. Like, again, this feels like a form that was just kind of, like, here for the sake of being here. Yeah, I don't un I don't get that part. Yeah, because you just set the one on top of the other. Uh, there's those little cannon-looking tips I showed you guys earlier. That just connects to the top of the Mazer cannon here. And then, bam, you're you're done. Well, yeah, like, it's an option, but not my personal favorite. Horrible idea. All right, so, uh, going over a closer look at Mechagodzilla's details, which I will say, once you get him together, he's staying together. <laughs> sure? Unless you guys really enjoy detransforming. Like, it took us probably about an hour to get this guy together. Like, his t transformation does take a little bit of time. Uh, just take it slow. I personally, for me, I didn't feel like there was much I really had to worry about breaking. Like most of the joints are pretty stiff. The ones that you really have to like apply some pressure to shift. 
But I could see somebody just like trying to power through it and snapping something. Please don't. But yeah, if you take it slow, you shouldn't really have any concerns. Just make sure to follow the instructions. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, like for as close look as details, head sculpt is awesome. I love the very rectangular or rectangular shape of his head, especially with the snout here on the front. And you can't open this up to reveal all his really nice metallic teeth. The mouth doesn't open very far, so that's a thing. Uh, also, I noticed mine has a little bit of a scuff right here in the paint. This might be from the transformation. Uh, so yeah, definitely worry about that too when you guys are adjusting the figure, trying not to scuff any of the plastic together. But for his eyes, or a nice translucent yellow plastic to give it that little reflector slash uh, cockpit kind of feel. Got a little bit of a indent on the top of his head, possibly for a laser, not sure. Got a little bit of the dorsal spine on the top section of the head with these little pointy ends that kind of resemble ears or possibly tiny little horns with a little red nub on the side. Got a bunch of vents on the front section of his neck, a little bit of yellow here for the side port. Same with on the top sections of the shoulders. You can see here where the jet portion of Mechagodzilla is on the top. Pretty much the entire back doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot. Then moving down, we got his chest area, which nice metallic plating, some gum metal on the intersection here. You can see here where the Mazer cannon is for the waist. So you get that nice little tummy laser, kind of like on the standard Heisei Mechagodzilla. And then you also have these parts, which again, shift up and down, because these were the little headlights but for the most part you're going to want to keep these guys down and then you got the little robot head too from the second little tank form for the arms sticking out right here on the front section of the chest so i guess it kind of is a cockpit sort of because you don't think the cockpit's in the head so i'd assume it'd be right around there but yeah uh moving on to his arms got his little gun fingers look really cool can also articulate so you can't have them sideways. So, oh, that's actually really sweet. And again, you got the tubes running towards the tip of the fingers. Looks really nice. A uh, little bit of a off color metallic blue. Same with the for the tip of the barrels. Got a little bit of detailing on the top and bottom sections of the cannons. Kind of resembles the cockpit on the center. Again, with the Mazer on the front of the tummy. Also, I had to bring it up here too. Did on the geek chest can't leave you guys out either for the wings exact same as what we had in the ship form same with the back you guys know what's going on except for this where the cockpit or the front of the plane splits in the two and then with his tail here which is not very articulated then for his legs you get some ports on the side section some thrusters here on the back where it shifts in his feet are on treads so you can definitely roll them around which also be worried because he can roll around so that is a thing uh, but for the pretty much the rest of it is just like what you saw with the tank with the little gun slash things i don't even know what to call these things on the front sections of his knees he's got knee guns man knee guns pretty much and yeah overall like very nice detail looking figure uh definitely really enjoying this also a very very heavy figure to say the least with all that die cast uh, but for his articulation head can look straight up so you can get him into flying poses if you want to, which is really cool. I don't know how that stand would work with this one, though. <laughs> Probably have to figure out something else. Uh, but for his mouth, can open up and down about that far. His head can also rotate a little bit side to side. Got a lot of play here with the head. For his arms, can go up about that far, down about that far. A little bit forward and back, but the plane section, the yeah, the wings get in the way. But if you shift that back, you can go all the way around. And he looks weird. Yeah, well, actually, you can't really go all the way around because the nose part gets in the way. Then he has a rotation here at the top part of the bicep. Nice double joint, though, so a little bit of play there. But you do get a little bit of rotation here at the fingers. Watch the wires. Yeah, but make sure you definitely watch the wires, though. But they just kind of slide back in when you're done with them. But you do get a little bit of rotation there. Nothing at the waist. For his legs, can go outwards about that far. And it was about that far. Really nice forward kick. No real back kick, but nice ratchet joint at the knees. And for the feet, can go a little bit up, a little bit down. And no real side to side or rotation. And here's the Tamashi Mix Mecha Godzilla compared next to some other Monster Arts figures with the original release Godzilla and Fire Rodan. And here is compared next to some other Mecha Godzillas in my collection with the SH Monster Arts Kiryu Heavy Arms version 
and the Sentinel Shiryu. And here's some NECA action figures with the Cherno Alpha from Pacific Rim and GMK Godzilla. And here's some other robots in my collection with the Solo Shigokan Evangelion Unit 1 and the Robot Spirits Heavy Arms Gundam from Gundam Wing. Uh, technically the Kai version. So overall with the Tamashi Mix Mechagodzilla poster version, I really enjoy this figure. Uh, detail wise, really stellar, like the weight to it, it's got plenty of die cast parts. The only thing is, is that transformation takes for freaking ever. Uh, and some of the parts definitely seem to be a little bit delicate, but nothing too crazy as long as you take your time. And yeah, for me, it definitely feels like a worthy investment. Oh God, yes. He looks fantastic. The uh, I do appreciate that they give you different options where you can transform the two tanks, even though it's unnecessary, but who would ever have them in that form compared to, you know, his regular form. I like to see somebody buying like two of these just to have them posed as vehicles, posed as the Mecha Godzilla. Or if you just want the vehicles to pose next to your standard Heisei Godzilla, it would be pretty cool too. Having like the jet form chasing you around Rodan. <laughs> Especially if you don't already have a Garuda. Yeah, I definitely enjoy it. So if you guys are really into Mecha Godzilla and want. Actually, this guy would be really cool with Shin Godzilla. Yeah, he's definitely a great combination of Transformer and Godzilla in one. And Treadmaster. If you guys are fans of Treadmasters, I'd pick this up too. Uh, he ranked me, I think, about 170 after shipping. So he definitely is pricey. But compared to a lot of the other monsters, he does come with quite a bit. And there's You definitely see where the value is. More options for sure. But what do you guys think? Have you guys picked up the poster version of Mecha Godzilla? What's your favorite Mecha Kaiju? Or is the original just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. A little closer picture of this guy on our Facebook account if you guys want to click the link in the description below. We also have a Patreon account with exclusive prints for the channel. Also down in the description if you guys want to help donate and help us defeat those Kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.